तो बैटरी इज ओके लुक्स टू बी बट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रैंक नाउ लेट्स सी सो आई एम जस्ट क्रैंकिंग नाउ दैट्स इट एंड दिस इज रिसर्च बिकॉज द बैटरी पावर इज गॉन सो लो दैट द क्रैंकिंग इज नॉट हैपनिंग एंड दिस इज गॉन अ रिसर्च सो दिस प्रूव दैट एंड्रॉयड ऑडियो सिस्टम इज नॉट सेफ हाई गाइज वेलकम टू ऑटोमोटिव टेक्निका दिस इज योगेश एंड दिस इज अ टेस्टिंग एंड रिजल्ट ऑफ एंड्रॉयड ऑडियो सिस्टम हाउ सेफ इट इज फॉर योर व्हीकल्स सो दिस कार हैज बिन पार्ट फॉर वन मंथ अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फोर वीक्स एंड I'll just show you how if it starts or not. So this is the condition. This is more than four weeks, I believe. Uh, approximately, I said it's one month, and the battery is okay, looks to be. But I'm going to crank now. Let's see. So I'm just cranking now. That's it, and this is research because the battery power has gone so low that the cranking is not happening, and this is going to reset. So this proves that Android audio system is not safe for. vehicles because it is not properly tested so if this doesn't go into proper shutdown mode that means when you pull out the ignition key so if you pull out the ignition key from here this goes only into standby mode so the sets which do not go into proper shutdown mode they consume 10 milli amperes as i have already shown you by multimeter in my uh, previous videos so that is the problem for long term parking if you park the vehicle then it will drain out the current from the battery 10 milli amperes forever if you don't have a proper shutdown mechanism so what is the workaround because i am not going to remove this android audio system because i am used to it and i am still experimenting on it so that's my r&d is going on here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a switch that is a power switch for only the android system there is no space here left because back side there is a uh, wires and some metal parts and uh, the dashboard very very less space here so i'm not going to put it here so there are uh, spaces here one is here already used for uh fog lamp and i believe i should do something on to the steering or something else where uh, i can switch on the android audio system based on the manual needs uh it's not an automatic i'm not going to put any relay module not making it complex so that's the next work around i can think of now so if you like my video push the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel automotive technica and stay blessed so this audio system uh, once you put on the key back and if it goes into shutdown mode it takes several seconds to uh, boot up the problem of this is like if you on switch on every time by a manual switch then you have to have uh, much patience so that it gets booted so it takes around uh, 27 to 30 seconds to boot and uh, that's the problem so if you can bear with this for one time uh, switching on using a power button that is fruitful and if you don't switch off that particular power button uh, then what happens here is this will go into uh, only standby mode so if you remove the key it goes into standby mode and when i put the key back it will switch on into the same state that means uh, it is the circuitry is on uh, in background and it is still in uh, state where 
the previous state is stored into the RAM and RAM is alive. CPU is uh, at a lower frequency and is shut down. Not completely, but into a standby mode. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Automotors Technica and this is the workaround what I have done so that uh, the permanent supply of 12 volts that is yellow wire which is behind the uh, system I drawn two wires and connected a switch that's a manual switch so I keep it off when the vehicle is parked and this has been inserted uh, just left side of the steering from my end when I sit on the seat so when I switch it on uh, this has become on and uh, it will boot so this logo I have uh, uh, created and uh, put it because uh, this is a Mahindra vehicle so this takes approximately some time approximately 30 seconds I can say and every time when you switch on it will take 30 seconds so uh, that's uh, one thing you have to uh, bear with yeah so I just started the vehicle because I had to jump start and uh, it is the battery has got uh, charged because I kept this vehicle for approximately half an hour in idling and uh, the work has been done in the afternoon and this is the night time I am taking the video in the flashlight so this is the system coming up and this is the work around so I believe guys uh, it is really really dangerous to have a system which is draining the current of 10 milliamps it's much and if you are up outside on the way and if your battery gets drained when you park it then it's really difficult if you don't have a jump starter so I had a jump starter which I already used and made a video on it so it is uh, good to have a jump starter and safe to get uh, jump starter when you are on the long drive so this is the switch and this is the system so if I switch it off it takes out the power supply which is the main power supply and that's the workaround of uh, friends so if I uh, pull out this key that is the ignition key am I stopping the engine and park it for a longer time after that I'll I'll just switch off uh, the switch so that uh, constitutes how safe the Android system is because I really do not recommend Android systems for the vehicles uh, if you are a very good professional um, on how to tackle with the problems of uh, the system because Android system are still under R&D and very high end systems come up with the technology that when you remove the key and the engine is off and uh, it goes into complete shutdown mode uh, I have one of them in a Swift so that is a very good system so the manufacturer has taken the care so this is the almost you can say middle entry model which does not come with that particular circuitry and you need to be very very careful of such Android systems when you fit into the car so there are options uh, good options in Android systems you have to spend a lot of amount of money so whatever amount of money you pay then the features of the systems are are more so it, it doesn't uh, seem to be a good thing that you have to spend a lot of time in doing certain R&D because there are some systems which claim to be DSP they are not actually DSP so software DSP control and uh, that it is uh, some problem so uh, thanks guys for watching this video and take a good decision stay blessed